In tonight's Health Edge, the winter weather can have a serious effect on your emotions. There's scientific proof that these dreary days can have you feeling down. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joining us now with more on what you can do to fight those winter blues. You know, we're talking about this morning, it was uh, unbelievable, and it's sunny like this. You know, it's estimated that 12 million Americans suffer from a type of depression called seasonal affective disorder, or SAD, or SAD. Doctors say in severe cases, people with, with SAD can become depressed. Many patients claim they just can't function. And that's because the brain goes through a chemical imbalance due to a lack of sunlight, which can lead to a number of symptoms such as fatigue, lack of energy, oversleeping, difficulty concentrating, and cravings for foods high in carbohydrates that can cause weight gain. So what can you do? Modify your diet and exercise more. Very important. Eating sensibly and eating carbs that are sensible can stimulate uh, serotonin and, and 15, 20 minutes of dancing to the radio or fast walking. Curtis and I do that dance on the Absolutely. radio all the time. That can, <laughs> Not that can reduce a sweet tooth <laughs> and improve mood. Now visit with family and friends. Laughter and togetherness are great therapy for the winter blues. Also, try a light box. There are specially designed light boxes that mimics natural outdoor light that you basically sit a few feet away from and then generally starts working in a few days to a few weeks and can cause very few side effects. Also, see your doctor. It's normal to have some days when you just feel down. Happens to all of us. But if you feel down for days at a time and you can't get motivated to do activities you normally enjoy, see your doctor. Some doctors will recommend antidepressants or psychotherapy to help, and, and patients get through the dark days of winter easily. Some great advice there. Yeah, so Doc, you know, cold and dreary outside. It's like yeah. you feel cold and dreary inside. You talked about diet modification. It's really important. You know, everybody thinks that, that you should have, you know, certain types of low fat, but protein should be eaten three times a day. Another good rule is to eat four cups of brightly colored veggies a day. Vegetables are carbs, but the kind that feed into your system slowly. In general, the good carbs are the veggies, fruits, and beans can really help your energy levels. So We're talking about yeah. sunlight, which means we're talking about vitamin D. Do supplements help? It really does. You know, I think that there's a nutritional supplement called 5-HTP or serotonin, you know, which is a precursor to serotonin, which can increase the serotonin levels. This is not for everybody, so make sure you talk to your doctor, read the label carefully. Uh, for instance, people with heart problems should not take it. Also remember that supplements such as this are not closely regulated by the government and may contain other substances which are questionable. So if you decide to take 5-HTP, it should only be taken for a short period of time to bump up the serotonin levels, which will then can stay elevated, but don't take it forever. Important. What about your daily vitamin, Doc? Does that help at all? I think so. I, you know, okay. I think there's not a lot of studies with this, but I take a multivitamin every yes, day. I think it keeps too. you going. And then have a, a balanced diet. You know, not go on a fad diet. That's really important.